In 2008, Lizette Kingo founded the Angel Project in Burlington, helping patients with rare diseases in complex care units get the supports they need. Nine years ago, she herself was diagnosed with the rare disease postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS. So POTS patients basically lose their autonomic nervous system. So things that we do automatically, heart beating, regulating the uh, pressure, those things can't be done. We can't digest food properly. Uh, it affects everything from your digestive system, your heart rate, you name it, it's, it's affected. Hearing, you become, it becomes difficult to focus, you get brain fog, uh, fainting, passing out, complete exhaustion because your heart is going up and down all the time so you're basically running a marathon all the time. As the blood pools within their stomach and kind of uh, shifts down from the heart and pools into different areas of the body, it affects their nervous system to the point where they can't walk or when they stand up from a seated position, they, they're going to uh, pass out. Um, episodes where they can't even take their children um, out to the park anymore because they can't leave the home. A, because they're not confident enough and they just physically can't. Today, the SHIELD Performance and Therapy POTS Clinic was officially opened. Lisette, who's currently in hospital, got a day pass so she could attend. It is the first time in my life that I feel that I am making a difference for those people who have no voice. I know I've been doing this for 20 years. Sorry. But to be able to do this for people who can't have a life, knowing that we can save a life, knowing that 50% of people will attempt suicide or will commit suicide, knowing that we can save one person, one parent from going through that agony, it's just, there's no words to describe that. It's incredible. Dr. Juan Guzman is the leading POTS researcher in Canada. He works in the Arrhythmia Clinic at Hamilton Health Sciences and is supporting the new clinic. He's so vocal with us, responding back to all our emails. He wants to be involved and he knows it's something that's needed in this community. So that connection there did come from Lizette, but now we're forming this team around this whole whole syndrome and it's, it's very special. Continuing their support of patients, the Angel Project presented the clinic with a check for $10,000 to support those who wouldn't be able to afford treatment otherwise. When they come in here, find out where their weaknesses lie and then um, initiate a program from where they're at because there's all different levels of POTS. There's people that you know, can still function daily and, and have uh, episodes and there's people that can't even walk up our stairs right now. So it's learning about where they are and you know, making it simplified and get them on a very simple plan, but mostly just supporting them. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Mickey Wesley.